In the last video tutorial, I showed you how to create categories and products. In this one, I'm going to show you how to set up a shipping rule, and I'm also going to show you how to set up product options. Right, so you need to log into the admin area of your website and go to SP Webshop. So let me just show you that. Here's what it looks like when you log into the admin area. Then you click on Webshop. And the first thing we're going to be dealing with is shipping. <clears throat> Actually, before I go in there, I'll just show you something else. Um, if you do have an account with Courier Post, Fastway, or NZ Post, you can hook into their systems as well. But actually, most of the time, <coughs> our clients are just using our shipping module uh, because it's a lot more flexible. So let's have a go. Um, i just move that out of the way. The option name, um, I'm going to say free for over $50. So I'm going to create a rule that says if you buy products and you put them into your shopping cart and the total is more than $50, we're going to give you free shipping to anywhere. Um, so we'll go free, the description, free shipping to anywhere for orders, whoops, over $100, oh, not $100, $50. So the start value range is, we'll just go 50. <coughs> and we're doing it for the total cart value. So they might have brought a small product for $10 and then another product for $50, which puts them over the threshold, which will give them free shipping. Um, we're just going to say all countries because we haven't actually set up different locations yet. But as an example, I could set up a location for North Island or South Island, and I could say this is only relative to the North Island. Or if my business was in Auckland, I might set up the different locations such as <coughs> Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, all the different cities around New Zealand, or even um, districts such as Manawatu, um, and, I, and it would say that you're only going to get free shipping if it's in Auckland or the Manawatu. But we're just going to say everywhere. Um, who has access to this free shipping option? Presently, everybody does. Though you might do this for wholesalers that you put into the system. You might say, right, because you do so much work with us, if you spend over X amount, <coughs> we'll give you some free shipping. Right, and then the shipping cost. And we'll just go zero. Um, again, we could actually use the API if we were hooked up to the system. Um, if you have one of those accounts, most of the time we don't. And the priority. Um, so you can say that you want it to be the highest priority, um, which I presume would be one. Um, and you can override other shipping options, but we won't worry about that for the time being. Right, so we just created that shipping option and it's showing up here. Now if we go back to our products and we'll go and edit our Lenovo product here. And now we're going to change its shipping method to free <coughs> for over $50. Or you might cre <coughs> create another shipping method called um, pick up from store where it's $0. But you can create multiple ones. And we'll save that. So that's how you can create a shipping rule. And you'd be surprised at how powerful it is. Just have a bit of a play with it. And if you get stuck, you can always just call or email us. Right. So we've done the shipping option. Now let's have a look at product options. Now remember, I was telling you about how you can set different um, pricing based on the size or even the color. So we're going to create um, an, a product option for the Lenovo. So the product option will be with, um, we'll call it more, oh, actually I'll go Lenovo, and I can't remember its model number, so I won't put that in there, but I'll go more RAM. I won't even worry about the description. So the option name is 2 gig, and it's going to change by, let's say, $100. 
and I'm going to add another option, which is an extra four gig. Let's probably put B in there. And let's make that <coughs> 150. And then we'll add eight gigabytes. <coughs> and we'll make that 250. And uh, if compulsory is selected, um, users will not be able to purchase the product until they have chosen the options. So we do want that to happen. And we go save option. And now if we go back to our products and we edit our Lenovo laptop, we can now go back to options is Lenovo more RAM and we go save products and we go and have a look at that product and we can choose how much RAM oh I've got its price wrong <coughs> oops it's not in there at the moment and it's because we're working on this website <coughs> but that's how it would show and then they, <coughs> then they can just add it as they go Sorry about all the coughing, got a bit of the flu at the moment. Right. Let's go back to our web shop. <coughs> right. So I've shown you um, how to create a shipping rule. And I've shown you how to um, create a product option and add extra pricing to it. In the next video tutorial... We're going to have a look at how to create vouchers. So you can even print these out so you can give them out to customers or you might just email them to customers and you might say, hey, use this voucher code and you'll get 10% off your next purchase. And you can, I'll show you how it works. <coughs> you can set a limit on those vouchers. <coughs> I'll show you how to do some discounts. And then we'll also look at locations. So that's in the next video tutorial.